In this quick video tip, I'm going to show you the analogy between a public library and Photoshop Elements Organizer. Now it says on the title slide here, this is for Photoshop Elements 15, but this same analogy holds regardless of what version of Photoshop Elements you are using. And in fact, the cardinal rules that I will state in a couple of minutes are absolutely essential if you want to be able to use the Photoshop Elements Organizer without getting into trouble. Okay, starting with a public library. As you can see around the perimeter of the slide here, we have shown a, a lot of bookshelves with the books in them. There's a librarian that runs the library. There's a card catalog that you see right when you enter into the main library and in the card catalog it has information about each and every book including what shelf they're located on but the card catalog does not contain the books it only shows you where to go find the books if you're going to buy a new book or you need to get a book from a remote site that someone has requested we show them coming in the front door okay let's move on to the analogy. In red is the analogy in Photoshop Elements 15's organizer to what the previous slide said. For example, right at the top, the public library is your PC's hard drive. The bookshelves are the various folders where the images are stored. The librarian is Photoshop Elements Organizer and it indeed runs the library. The card catalog in Photoshop Elements 15 is by default's name is My Catalog. You can have catalogs with different names but the default is My Catalog. That's the same as the card catalog in the library. That is fundamental to this analogy. The card catalog contains information about each and every one of the photos in your catalog, including its tags, where it's located, etc. If you upload new images from either a card reader or your camera, it shows them coming in the front door, so to speak. The remote sites, as I've indicated them here, are any external drives on your hard uh, connected to your computer. Now what are the critical rules? Here they are. Once you have imported a picture from either a camera or uh, an external drive of some sort into the card catalog, you must not delete, move, or rename the picture or the folder that it's put in without doing it through the organizer of Photoshop Elements. If you do, the pictures will become disconnected between what the organizer says they are and where it says they are to the actual location, name, or whatever. All these commands are available within the organizer itself and if you need to use any of them you must use the commands built into Photoshop Elements 15's organizer. If you don't you lose track of your pictures. This is by far the biggest problem that people who are new to using Photoshop Elements and its organizer find themselves having trouble with. It's a database concept and the card catalog, or in our case, the pictures catalog, or the organizer's catalog, does not contain the pictures. It contains the pointers to the pictures. So once you get this straight, using the organizer is very easy. So I hope this video helped you out, and look for future videos and tutorials on Photoshop Elements 15. Thanks for watching.